Hello everyone, you're watching The Culture Cave and I'm here with the lovely John Davis who is also known as the Cheese Guy <laughs> and we're here in beautiful Nanjo um, on mainland Okinawa which is about an hour um, south southeast of Naha yeah. southeast of Naha so I've journeyed down here today we've picked a brilliant day for it and uh, I'm a big cheese fan so that's what initially <laughs> um, you know drew me to the place but we, we actually met just chatting yeah, as, sorry. Yes, as, yes, as fellow yes, Brits yes. you know totally, talk, talking yes. about cheese and, um, yeah. and here we are just two days later um, mm. so, so John is mm. going to give us um, a tour of the cheese factory. Very exciting because I've never, I've never really been inside of a cheese factory, learning all about how cheese is made from start to finish. So I hope you viewers find it interesting. I'm sure it's going to be absolutely fantastic. We're on the roof of the cheese factory, John. Take That's it right. away. Yes. Well, if you had X-ray vision, you could see the cheese factory down there, which you don't, I'm sure. <laughs> So we're on the roof of the cheese factory and all around here is the beautiful agricultural scenery wow. of Nanjo. The wow. cows are up there, so we're just going to walk yes. up now and we can see yeah. the cows. Now and we're in we this... We're 150 Holsteins. 150 Holsteins. Yes. Now we're in the subtropics here. It's so how, warm. Yeah, so how does that bode for making cheese? Well, the cows are very comfortable with it. It doesn't get that hot here. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't get that cold either. So. Mm. Can you see the cows just like that? Kind of black and white. Might have to go close up there. Uh... Yeah, it'll come out because the sun's in the wrong direction. Yes, yes, yeah, so we can't see them quite yet. No. Are we, are we going to meet them up close? No, I don't want to go up there because I don't want to get um, unwanted bacteria. Fair and... enough. Stuff in our Fair hair enough. and clothes. And yes. we're going in the factory, so yeah. we shouldn't really do that. Okay, so anyway just down the steps. How many cows do you have? 150 whole signs. 150, that's all of them. Oh, lovely ladies. Oh, there oh, they are. Hello there. Hello there, darling. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was last out in Chiba, actually, oh, at yeah. a dairy farm, and yeah. there was a cow whisperer there. Oh, really? And she was she was just talking to them, oh, and amazing. it was amazing. She was just um, kind of, yeah. She just has a unique ability to to, to guide them and okay. talk to them, and they respond. Okay, so here's the cheese factory. Here we are. And let me just guide you around. Over here is a boiler mm -hmm. that produces 110 degrees of steam, which goes through these pipes into the factory to heat the milk. And this guy over here produces almost zero degrees, very cold water, mm -hmm. and that cools the milk down. Right. So between the two, we can control, control the temperature. So this is, these are the first steps of cheese making? The first steps, right yes. So it's all about the temperature change, isn't it? Temperature change is very, very important. Mm -hmm. And over here we have a generator because uh, Okinawa has typhoons, mm -hmm. and we once had four days with no electricity. Mm -hmm. wow. Oh, God. Crisis. Milk goes in these churns, which I'm sure you know the shape. Yes, the classic. And as we haven't gone to the, where the cows are, the yeah. people bringing the milk down don't want them to come in the factory either. Okay. So they come into the milk entry room here. Yeah. Yeah, super, super safe practices here. Yes, that's now, right. The milk has to be pasteurized by law. Unfortunately, it? yes. I wish it didn't, but it does. So right. that's the. Uh, and the health guys check on that. So yes. <laughs> anyway, the milk is put into this receptacle here. When it's connected up, it's pumped through into the pasteurizer, which is in there in the factory itself. Mm -hmm. When we have the boiler running, we have steam cleaning in every room. Mm -hmm. So we turn that and steam, 110 degrees of steam comes out. Make everything nice and shiny. All right. So this is to achieve kind of the polished texture. Well, it's to, to stop any unwanted bacteria from coming in. Yeah. Uh, Okinawa is probably the perfect place to make cheese in yes. Japan. I, I, I would say, I, people would disagree with me, I, I think so. Because the climate is very similar to the Mediterranean. Mm. It doesn't get really cold, it doesn't get really hot. Mm -hmm. So it's very comfortable for the cows. Mm -hmm. And they, instead of concentrating on keeping warm, yeah. they just relax and produce nice creamy milk. Yes. Yeah. And the weather really is chilled or it's, it's very, it's very perfect. It's perfect. It's about 20 degrees today. 20, it's just, 23, 24. It's, oh, it's lovely. It's not hot, it's not cold. Yeah. Just nice. Yes. Yeah. Well, cows, in that respect, they must be very similar to, to humans. In the, well, that's right. They yeah. respond well to that temperature. Yeah. 
And the poor moon was up in Hokkaido. There's a minus 20. I've lived yeah. there, and it's not comfortable. It's cool. But in Japan, it's Hokkaido is renowned for having the best dairy, the best cheeses. Why yeah, do you that, think that, that is? That's PR. I think it's debatable. I don't know whether you want to cut that or what. <laughs> but no. the, the thing was, in the Meiji time, uh, they opened up the country. Yeah. Like, suddenly thought, OK, we've got this huge, humongous land up mm -hmm. in Hokkaido. What do we do with it? Ah, oh, cows and sheep. Yes. Good idea. They take yeah. up room. Yeah. Then halfway, they sort of gave up on sheep, mm -hmm. so there's no sheep there. Even mm -hmm. though it's Shitujigaoka, which means yeah. Sheep View Hill, you can't see any sheep mm -hmm. there. Yeah. And it's tough for the cows, I think. Yes. Yeah. yeah it's it's debatable, really. Where is the best? Where is the best cheese? Well, I mean, that it's like uh, Alaska or Russia or something. I mean, there is Russian cheese, but it's mostly made down the south. Yes. Too in uh, Siberia, Siberian yeah. cheese or Alaskan cheese. Yeah, similar to wine perhaps in yeah. terms of climates. Mm. But the way things are going, it's going to get warmer, so maybe e there will everywhere. be Alaskan cheese there in was, the future. There might be more, more and more delicious cheeses from the, the colder climates. Indeed. Okay, so where are we going now? This is so the going maturation. Into the factory itself. Right. Maturation and packing, right. right. So this is a later stage of the process, of course. Well, the, this is the beginning of the process, really. Yeah, yes. Once the milk's arrived. Uh, after you, so, I'll, I'll follow. Right. Mm -hmm. So this is like a, going into a, a spaceship. We have an airlock. Right. So we have to come in and change our footwear mm -hmm. and close the outer door, and then yes. we can open the inner door. Yeah. Just not multitasking here with uh, yeah, okay. with camera and shoe changing. <laughs> Right, think we're ready? Yep, there we go. Right. So it's cover hair, am I okay? I've got my hair tied back. Well, we're not making cheese right now, so right. we're just looking. So okay. I'm, okay. I'm not covering my but, uh, norm, hair But normally, if, beard, if, I, so. if I were here making cheese, I would have to cover it up. That's right, oh yes. Now, yes, yes. earlier we drank something really delicious. Now, can you tell us again what this is? This, this, this is in the bottom here, hui. This is way, right. yes. And so this is what's left over from cheese making. And it's really delicious. I yeah. just had some. Um, it's, it's, it has quite a mild taste to it, and it's full of amino acids, it's isn't it? It's full of amino acids and yeah. protein. It's really good for you. Fantastic. Unfortunately, we throw away an awful lot of it. Yes. Far too much. I'm trying to work on ways to preserve it. Yeah. So, you can go into the factory. Cheese making. The milk is behind here. Yeah. So the milk comes. Through, it's pumped through into this receptacle here, mm -hmm. which is where it's pasteurized. We low temperature pasteurize, 63 degrees, 30 minutes. Right. That doesn't change the taste a lot. Mm. So that's the best way. Yes. What else can you tell um, people about pasteurizing who are complete beginners to cheese making? Well, there are health benefits in not pasteurizing, but with the huge dairy farms they have in, in various parts of the world where they must produce milk they're not too particular about hygiene mm. and so it's safer to pasteurize the milk yeah with a small holding like us we have 100 150 cows yes yes i see so if you want 